Why does no one tell you this when you start out with fitness? I didn't see it on social media. Would have saved me so many mental issues. Oh my god. Can we just take a moment to discuss the hourglass shape? The Coke bottle, the snatched waist. I think it's something that we all longed for at some point in our fitness journeys and maybe even the guys that are watching this are like yes that was me too because it's not only a women thing there are so many things that would have helped me back in the day when I just started my fitness journey that would have made my mental health so much better when it comes to getting a snatched waist and having that shape and everything. It's always about that, losing tummy fat, losing this, losing that. So um, you can imagine that if you hear that constantly, like this is what you're supposed to buy, wear this because then your waist will be better and etc. It does something to your mental health, right? And I remember um, that was something that really discouraged me so much. And today I just wanna talk about the things that could have helped me so so much. Now, first and foremost, as you know, I'm always very positive about all kinds of stuff, but I do get that maybe you're watching this video, you saw the thumbnail and you were like, oh my God, yes, I need to like do something about my shape. First of all, your body and your shape and everything that has to do with looks does not define you as a human, as a lovely person who is watching this right now. So please, please just see this as an inspiration and information to make you aware of what the things are that you can do um, in order to get a maybe a little bit of smaller waist or like the shape that you're happy with. And also know that a lot of the things that we're going to talk about today have to do with genetics. So everyone is different it might go slower with me faster with you or the other way around etc in general weight does not define you and I'm just going to share a light on something that um, you need to know the biggest thing that I always skipped out on was training my upper body <laughs> I always thought that whenever I touch a weight whenever I go work out like a guy with heavy weights I would turn into this Hulk version of Nosli, which I did not want to become. I've learned over the years that women are just naturally not able to build on such a huge size. Only maybe when you look at the real athletes who work day in, day out, train three times a day, eat all day, um, maybe take something else to become huge and huge. But for the average woman, it's just not a thing. And working out with heavy weights will only sculpt you the way you want to and will eventually also help you with fat loss. So I remember when I was younger, I did not have a single pound of muscle. Like I was skinny, but I was healthy. So I didn't need to lose weight necessarily, but I did want to become stronger and my fat percentage was just a little bit too high. So um, my shape was always very square almost and my waist was almost as wide as my shoulders. So if I would stand like this, I would just be like a little block. And now as you can see, because I work out so much, there's actually a shape in this going on, you know? Even though I almost have no boobage because sometimes bigger boobs can give you the effect of having a smaller waist, but I'm over that point, we're not doing a boob job. And growing up like that, I always felt like I was this tonk, this little tonk, like I don't even know how to explain it, but I did not feel very comfortable in my body at all until I realized that I need to train my upper body in order for my waist to become smaller or to appear smaller. What I started doing and what I do a lot now too is training my back. I cannot accentuate that enough. Like training your back will give you an hourglass shape in the end because putting on extra muscle on your back gives you like that, that V kind of. So it will look like your waist becomes smaller while maybe it stays the same, but because of the shape of your back, so like basically your lats, these things right here, it will definitely look and help with creating that hourglass shape. 
So to give you a little bit of an example, what you can do while working your back and creating a V shape in your muscles is something I did today. I always have one day that I work my back and my biceps on the same day. And don't worry girls, if you're watching this, I do very heavy weights and I'm not like this big, huge ass, hulky bulky woman. If you see me in real life, I'm just really, slim and toned i'm not huge so please don't worry about that and work with the heaviest weights you can for your level of fitness because in the end that will put on muscle you will get the v-shape you will get a smaller waist and everything but of course that's not everything that you need to do there are a few factors that come into place while getting that snatched waist you know, it gets me excited because this was honestly this was like my biggest issue when i started fitness like i was so annoyed i saw everyone out there who was fitnessing with a waist like this and i was like this little bloke so um it definitely affected me in a way that wasn't supposed to do that but you know i needed to learn that my shape and my body does not define the person who i am now i do know that and i'm very happy to just give that to you and hopefully like convince you with this video that thinking like that is normal but it is not a good thing for your mental health so it does need to change and i hope by putting that awareness out there you can make that change for yourself because in the end it will make you a better person if you stop doing that. So the second thing we really need to look at while creating this smaller waist is of course fat loss because every person is different. I store a lot of fat naturally on my butt, my legs and my back. So the first thing I notice when I'm losing weight is that the fat goes away on those places. My waist goes to the last few weeks of fat loss whenever I do a cut or something. So I will not see that much difference until the end, end, end. All the fat on my back and my legs is gone. So when you're losing weight, it's not possible to like say, okay, I want this fat gone and a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit there. It's just not a thing. And unfortunately, a lot of companies take advantage of people who do not know this. Pinpointing the body parts where you want to lose fat and actually achieving that is just not a thing. If you're losing weight, so basically if you're eating in a calorie deficit, um, it will mean that you will lose fat all over your body. So not just under your chin or under your arm or on your legs, everywhere then next up oh my god if i would have known this i would not have done that at the beginning of my fitness journey now of course you always hear me preach like please work out with heavy weights it will give you a toned body and everything you needed like when you're losing weight you will keep your shape because of the muscle gain but the thing now is that i used to do that with my abs too and like when i mean working with weights i worked with heavy as weights to gain muscles in my abs of course it's not a bad thing but if you really want a tinier waist make sure not to work your abs with weights and the best thing you can would do with that is very easy you just have to work your abs with your body weight which is more than enough because it will definitely give you the definition you want in your abs but it doesn't necessarily make them super 3d it's really up to you but if you're working your abs with weights know that they will become a little bit more bulkier which is gorgeous like don't get me wrong unlike a lot of women it looks perfect but if you want to have a little bit more of an hourglass shape please work your abs with body weight and just like your entire body your abs also need rest so please don't do your abs like every single day i know that some people like preach that like doing abs every day but if i would work my bicep every day at a certain point i would not be able to like stretch my arm anymore that's the same with your abs just make sure to train abs two three times a week maybe two times might even be enough i even train my abs once a week or not even at all I just didn't like it. So it's really okay if you just train them once a week, but just don't overdo it. Because like I said, your abs also need rest to recover, to restore and eventually grow and tone. So just, just take a rest period in that. I advise to train abs once, twice a week. It's more than enough. 
Now, I'm not saying that counting calories is for everyone because I know that a lot of people are really against it and that is more than fine, but for me it does work. And I really don't count calories onto every little gram. Like, trust me, it is more than fine. I eat all kinds of foods, I eat pizza, etc. But the thing is, if you want to have like a little bit more of an insight of what you're actually eating and what you're doing with your body, um, an app like MyFitnessPal would be like an idea to just give yourself a little bit of more information about yourself and awareness about what you're eating or what you're not eating. Because sometimes it can be that you're not eating enough or that you're overeating and you're not losing weight. Maybe just try out for like a week to just see what you eat, how much you eat, look on your packages, how many calories are in there. And the number one tip I can give in that is really take a look at your protein intake. Because I know a lot of women who really underestimate the intake of protein on your body. They always say like, no, it's not necessary. I will be fine. But the thing is that your body really really needs the protein in order to restore muscles, no matter your goals. If you wanna lose weight, your body needs protein to recover and eventually reach its goals. And definitely when you want to gain muscle, you will need protein to restore the muscles, build them up like building blocks, and eventually like get a little bit more of a snatched waist, build your hips because that also gives that effect. And of course your shoulders, your back, your whole body just really needs it. So don't skip it. Now to summarize a little bit of this video, I think it really comes down to first of all, the awareness of what you can do about it. And of course, a snatched waist, a Coke ball, the shape, whatever you want to call it, is really not a life at all. But if you do want it to know it, I really hope that this video helped you out a lot. I'm literally editing this video right now and I saw that the last clip was removed. So that's great. Good morning, by the way. I hope you truly enjoyed this video and that it gave you a little bit of more of an insight of all the things that I was missing out on when I just started fitness. Knowledge is power in these kinds of things and it really helped me from overthinking everything in fitness. So I truly hope that that also helps with you so you don't have to like break your brain over it. Sometimes body image etc can really take over and by knowing these things by just working out regularly, eating enough eating enough protein, etc., and all the things I mentioned in this video, you now know that it is certainly possible to create a hourglass shape or whatever you want to call it, like a certain body type that you prefer and all within healthy ranges instead of getting surgery or weird ass things you see on the internet nowadays. So just work out, don't give up, stay consistent and especially enjoy the process because working out in the end will only make you a happier person, not only on the outside, but definitely mentally. So anyways, much love to you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.